guys, it's Armin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, I hope you stick around. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below as well as the notification bell so you can be told when I make a new video. Today I'm doing my TBR for the Trick or to Readathon. I will link it up there as well as down below if you missed my announcement video, but basically me and seven other of my best booktube friends are hosting a readathon for the month of October. It's like spooky, fun, super easy to pick books for, um, and I'm super excited for it. I know all of the hosts are super excited for it, so if you haven't seen that, check it out, join us. You still have time to pick a TBR and join us for the month of October. But without further ado, here is my TBR. So the first prompt is Witch, and that is read a book with a female lead character who will probably hex you if you mess with her. For this one, I chose Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. I read a lot of things about this book, but not much about the plot. So like, I'll give you the bare bones plot summary that I know, but I don't wanna go into this with too many ideas of what it's about. But basically there's this girl named Alex who goes to Yale as sort of a second chance for her life, I guess. Um, she gets a full ride or something. And her job there is kind of to try to do something related to these secret societies at Yale. And it ends up being something very occult and kind of spooky. And I know that this book is very dark and there's a lot of heavy themes in it, and that's kind of something I wanted to read more of, so I'm very excited to read this book. Um, I know that it has a lot of trigger warnings, so if you're somebody who typically needs trigger warnings, probably check that out, but I am very excited to read this book because I've heard so many cool things about it, and I'm really excited to get my hands on it. The next prompt is a vampire, and that is to read a book with a love interest you probably shouldn't want to meet in a dark alley. Of course, you want to meet them anyway, and who better for this than Kaz Brecker from Six of Crows. Um, I've already read this book once, but I read it at a time when I was like very distracted. I read through it very quickly, and I didn't really like absorb any of the storylines, so I want to give it another shot at a time when I pay more attention to the story and the characters and know a little bit more about what's going on. But we already love Kaz, so this is gonna be fun. Six of Crows is a heist book with six main characters, I think, and they have to sort of complete a heist. I tell you I've read this book and I still couldn't give you a plot of it, like <laughs> that's how literal I remember. The next prompt is Werewolf and that is a book that you read only at night. For this one I chose A Shadow of the Wind which I'm doubling up for for like another one of my prompts. Um, so I'm not sure if this is for sure the one I'm gonna read only at night, it depends like what I'm reading when, but as of right now that's what I have. And A Shadow of the Wind I didn't know very much about until like last week, but it's been on my TBR since I first heard about it because it sounds very interesting. Basically this boy finds a book that he really likes, I think, and he finds- he wants to find more books by this author, and then he realizes that somebody is like destroying all of the books by this author, and something is going on. And I thought that it was just like a philosophical book when I first heard about it. I don't know why. That's just what I thought. And apparently it's actually kind of spooky, so... When I put it down for reading only at night, I didn't know that it was supposed to be spooky, but... One of my friends said it was kind of spooky, so now I'm kind of scared. So we'll see what happens because I'm very easily scared. So if it's one of those like thought-provoking psychological thriller type books, I'm probably not gonna sleep, but I'll let you guys know what happens. <laughs> For the next prompt, Ghost, which is read a book in a place you want to haunt, I chose A Darker Shade of Magic, which I've heard a lot about. Again, I don't know very much about it, except that it has a character who can travel between different like dimensions, or, like different Londons, like a red London, a black London, and a white London. Apparently they use like blood magic and it's kind of spooky, but like not like spooky spooky. So um, I'm excited to read this because it sounds pretty interesting. And also like, I don't want to restrict myself to haunting a single place, like a house or like a school or something like that. Like if I'm gonna haunt, I need places to roam. And I feel like London is as good a place to do that as any, because there's like, so many cool old buildings and old things to find in London and also a lot of new stuff since it is like a bustling city, you know, I could be like haunting a modern coffee shop or like a library or a bookstore and it's always like rainy and vibes. I've been to London once so this is why I have all these generalizations and there's like an atmosphere in London that I feel like I really enjoyed so if I had to haunt a place I think it would be London. The next prompt is Demon and that is a book that has multiple POVs. For this I didn't pick a new book, I'm just going to see whichever one I read first, either A Darker Shade of Magic or Six of Crows because both of them are told from multiple POVs so we'll see what happens but those are two, my two picks for that. The next prompt is Siren and that is read a book that was recommended to you. For this one I chose Mexican Gothic because everybody and their moms has recommended this book since it came out and I'm very excited to finally read it. It's been on my TBR, like it's been on my shelf for a little while too now because I got it with one of my book of the month credits for that I got for Christmas and I didn't know it was a spooky book when I ordered it and apparently it's spooky so I just didn't read it and now I'm gonna read it in October and put myself through this. Basically Mexican Gothic, um, again very basic bare bones plot. There is a woman who travels to the Mexican countryside to this spooky mansion because her cousin lives there and she is worried that her husband is trying to kill her. That's all I know and it's a scary book. So 
We'll see what happens in this spooky mansion in the Mexican countryside in the 1950s. Also, the cover is absolutely gorgeous. So the next prompt is Faye, and that is read a book that you've been scared to pick up. For this one, again, either or, whichever one I read first, either Mexican Gothic or Ninth House, because Ninth House I've had on my TBR since it was released, and I just haven't gotten around to reading it because I don't know why, but it just seemed kind of intimidating. I just never like picked it up or checked it out at the library or just got myself to read it and I don't own it so it just like didn't happen but I want to finally read it. Also Mexican Gothic as I said when I found out it was a spooky book I just like didn't read it it's just been on my shelf and I just haven't picked it up so I've been kind of literally scared to read that one and Ninth House just kind of like for some reason I haven't read it. And the final prompt is Zombie and that is a book with a disaster but this one I wanted to go towards more of a like literal disease disaster dystopian type like I was gonna read Wilder Girls but then I got Truly Devious for five bucks at the Barnes & Noble Cafe and it's a murder mystery and I was like I want to read this in October and I don't have any other prompt for this to fit with so I just stuck it with Zombie. I'm sorry but I'm excited to read this. It's kind of like a like a dark academia private school murder mystery. I'm literally reading the back of this because I don't know. Basically there's this private school where there was a murder in the past. It's like an infamous murder and the pseudonym of the murderer was signed like truly comma devious and this girl goes to this school and she wants to solve this cold case. But lo and behold, it's not like cold case anymore because the murderer is back and has committed a murder. So I guess that counts as a disaster. But anyways, it sounds really good and it's not super long and it's a floppy paperback. So I mean, there's nothing wrong with this choice. Also, the cover is like really cool. It doesn't really fit with anything on my bookshelf, but like I really like the cover of it anyway. So um... <laughs> and it's part of a series, so you know I'm already obsessed. Anyways, that was my very rambly TBR for the month of October slash the trick or to read upon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you're planning on reading them or if you're planning on joining us for the trick or to read -a because that's all very exciting and I want to know if you're participating. And as always, don't forget to hit subscribe so you can be told when I make a new video because I will be posting new content very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.